is the HP beer. Right, okay. And then this is the Pre 3. Um, how familiar are you with Lobo Up? Very, yeah, very familiar. With very familiar. So you know the concept of cards already. Um, just type has changed okay. the 2.0 version. But so just to recap, what is card? Because I'm doing it for our viewers. So what is, course, you know, what is cards? Can we get a chance? Yeah. So the concept of cards is basically allowing the user to multitask. Right. So you can have multiple things open. And so, for example, me, I've had many times where I've been using email and I've needed to look up someone's phone number or look up a piece of data. And it's been hard to go back and forth on lots of devices. Right. Um, but at Palm, we make it extremely easy. So, for example, I just launched my email. I can launch phone. Um, basically, it allows you to go back and forth from one usage to the other. And then you can go in and actually do stuff with each application and still switch back out to another one. Um, when you're done with any application, just swiping it closes it. So it's very easy to keep everything organized. You can rearrange your cards. And in 2.0, you can actually stack them as well. So for example, if you are on um, an application, say Yelp, um, and you're looking up a restaurant, oh, sorry, I need to type in a search. Tacos. And while I have that running, I can show you a few other things about what it was. I've also just pulled up my contacts in my calendar, and this is to show you our Synergy features. Um, Synergy is something very specific to WebOS, and what it does is it brings all of your web data straight to your fingertips. So for example, here is my calendar, and you'll see things in yellow are from my Google Calendar, um, but things in green are from my Outlook Calendar, and so forth. Um, really putting together all aspects of your life in one place. With contacts, we've kind of taken that same concept, um, and if you take a look at a sample contact, I'm pulling her data right now from Facebook from Outlook and from Google as well and taking the profile pictures of those things. So it makes it very easy for you to organize your contacts. Again, when I'm done with the card, all I have to do is swipe to get rid of it. What I was mentioning earlier about the Just Type is something that's pretty specific to WebOS as well. So on other devices, you might have seen things that we've referred to as universal search. And in 2.0, we've taken that to a new level. Right. So let's say I am at Safeway and I'm interested in chicken salad or a recipe for that. Um, before, what it would do is trigger a bunch of search choices. You could do Google, Google Maps, Wikipedia, and Twitter. We've taken that to another level and now allowed you to do quick actions. From here, you can trigger a new memo, an email, a task, update your Facebook status. Any developer can really plug into this new feature. Um, so from here, if I clicked Google, it would basically open a web browser and take you to a Google search query um, for chicken salad. Cool. Um, so that's something that's very specific as well. Um, if you want a sample of an application that works, um, I had done what I did was I just pulled up the Yelp application. I searched for tacos. It's pretty good. Palm Veer, and you can see, you know, it looks just like a Palm Three, at least in design. It does have the, uh, the sliding form factor with the physical QWERTY keyboard, but it's very, very small. It has a 2.6-inch display. Uh, it does have a Qualcomm Next Generation 800 megahertz processor, and it's running WebOS 2.1. But you can see in comparison to something else, like let's pull up the uh, the iPhone, just using that as a sample. You can see that. Uh, it's a small device, if I don't break it. You can see comparison between the two. Very small device, again, 2.6 inch display, and it does have a camera on the back, so I can't remember the actual uh, the resolution of the camera. It doesn't have a flash, so something to keep in mind. And you can see it has that HP branding, so Palm, at least as a company, you know, is dead. No more HP Palm, just uh, HP when referencing this product. The HP Veer, coming soon, pricing hasn't been announced, and uh, carrier partnerships haven't been announced either, but one thing's for sure, it's a tiny device that could compete with feature phones on the market. Live from HP's event in San Francisco, California, I'm Aaron. Keep it locked on the site for more coverage. We'll see you next time.